everybody, and welcome to TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest, episode 131, for August 25th, 2018. 1v1 opens up with a potential massive mauling of Clay Fighter's blob. If you ask why I say that, just look who he's facing on the right, with Shades of Manhattan's 13. He's hit a few roadblocks in the past, but his shortcomings have never kept him down for long. We may be in the process of seeing a new cheese developed with Slimy Swiss, if the bladed psychopath gets his way. As we go over to a random stage, hope you all enjoy! 13, come on and get yourself another win! And Blob, try to fight as hard as you can, please! Clay Fighter vs. Shades of Manhattan. Who will earn a W for their franchise? We shall see. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. Alright, 13 opens up with the play gems. Pounds Blob right across the stage. Now 13 with two more play gems. Gunning Blob. Blob sneaking underneath. Gets a boot to a multi and fist. Missed the eye shot. 13 punishing that miss with some more play gems. Now 13 missed the foot blade. Blob trying to crawl in on him. But 13 intercepts him with more play gems. Launching him to the corner. 13 pinning him there with more play gems. Blob tries to get a boot through. Missed the mallet. And a play jab to the face will ground him. And the Sludge takes the hit hard in round one here. Let's see if 13 can keep up the pressure, or will Blob sneak right back into it and force a three? Alright, Blob missed that ground attack and the eye blade from 13 whiffed, but the super blade jab combo catches Blob nicely. Oh, 13 missed the jumping blade strike, turns around, more blade jabs right to Blob's grill. Blob trying to block, it's a baseball off. Oh, missed that mallet special as 13 punched him with the blade jab. More blade jabs, now a super blade jab combo, ends up pounding Blob right across the stage. Man, Blob down to a third of his health, 13 blade jabbing him some more. Blob stuck in the corner, gets a nice mallet shot off, missed the multi-hit fist special. 13 gets caught by that mallet, gets launched to the corner. Blob mounting it off his karate shot right to the eye shot. Oh, gets caught by the shoulder blade. There he goes. Man, Blob caught right out of the air. 13 intercepting him and manages to run away with the 2-0 literally and figuratively here. Blood must be shed! Die! Die! Man, 13, you are a freak on a leash. Or a freak behind a mask. <laughs> well, 13 gets a nice win here over Blob who's been continually struggling through Season 3. I think he's only got one win, and that's over Fulgore of Killer Instinct, and, well, Fulgore's been struggling himself, too. Well, in any event, 13 gets a much-needed win here, so good for him. I hope he can keep it up through the rest of Season 3. I think he might have one more match coming up. And we'll see if he continues on in Season 4, or maybe 13 will want to pursue doubles. We'll see what his options are later. And Blob, well, he might go to NXT, or he might just fade away permanently. I don't know what's going to happen with him. But he's got one more set to prove himself this season. We'll see what happens. Alrighty, folks. Be right back as I set up single set number two. Maybe we'll get a much more interesting encounter. Maybe a round three there. Be right back as I get it all set up. Howdy, peeps. The TK is back with another single scuffle. Closing out this month of 1v1 will be DBZ's Bardock. He's been on a terrific tear since his Season 2 debut in this division, his only defeat coming at the hands of Battle Maharo. Everyone else has eaten a beam blitzkrieg. Here's hoping SD3's Reese can avoid that very same predicament. She has some great striker and heal support with Angela and Carly, in addition to her own wicked spear strikes and specials. Can her spear slash through Saiyan armor for a very important victory? Random stage, give us the answer. Hope you all enjoy. Alright, Bardock, let's see you bring it out of Reese. Another big badass performance. More franchise warfare in 1v1 as DBZ collides with SD3 on the Blossom stage. Engage, here we go. Alright, Bardock starts with a kick, tries to race in. Now Reese slows it down with a power-up spell here. They're going to enhance her spear damage. Let's see, Bardock tried for a kick in the energy wave. Reese takes it to the air, leaps way over Bardock. Bardock leaping over Reese now, teleports in. Big uppercut to her grill, knocks her down. Bardock charges in with a fist kick and energy blast. Oh, the Angela summon gets drilled by Bardock's super fist strength. Damn, knocks her across the stage. Axe handled the least following that grab. Now Bardock knocked out of his power charge by Reese's spear strike. Now she goes for a speed up here. I don't know if that'll help her out against Bardock. He's pretty fast. Big kick into that energy wave. Reese blocks that. Carly summon knocked away. Reese charging in with a massive spear combo from the air. Damn, ends up slamming Bardock down, drills him for 332 damage. Now tries to get a flipping grab, but Bardock counters immediately with the aerial, following that energy wave. My goodness, Bardock turned that around on Reese's face in a hurry in round one. Round two, let's see if she can rush back into it and force it to a three. All right, Reese opens up with a nice evade up, I believe, here. The gnome spell. Now Reese missed that spear strike. Bardock trying to charge it. Oh, Carly summoned out. Axe handles grab slam to lead to Reese who gets up. Now goes for a tinkle rain. I don't know if that's going to help her out here. Gets a spear strike. Ends up getting a couple spear slices through on Bardock. Starts juggling them in the air. Man, Reese string them together. Now lands her big special. Oh, now goes for the... 
I forgot the name of this special, ends up getting a spear dive slash off on Bardock, does some heavy damage to him, nearly half. Now see a Carly sub, now Bardock intercepting Reese with an uppercut. Now another tickle rain from Carly, healing up Reese. Now Reese takes the air, spear dive, knocks Bardock across the stage. Now Reese trying to go for that flipping throw, intercepted by Bardock's uppercut as he countered. Now see oh, Reese going for that throw again, but gets it off successfully this time. Bardock kicks her away, energy wave. Now a spear dive, knocks Bardock back. Now a big spear slice from Reese, who ends up going for another special here. I think it's another F8 up boost. Bardock needs to get up and do something here. Bardock tries for a kick and energy wave, dashes in. Reese intercepting him with a spear strike on Reese. He's attacking that. Goes for a spear barrage on Bardock. Starts hacking and slicing. Big flaming spear strike will off the sand. And Reese roars right back into this set with a round two win. Very impressive. And folks, we will be seeing our first round three of 131. Who will take it here? All right, Bardock misses sidekick, gets the second one. Energy wave. Now tries for a low fist. Reese dives right over him now. Now Bardock throws off another energy wave. Reese trying to intercept him with the spear strikes. Carly summon coming out. I don't know if it's going to do a heel light or a tickle right again. Bardock kicking Reese in the face. Now Bardock going for his ultimate here. I don't know if Reese is going to be close enough to get hit by that or not. We'll find out momentarily. Bardock power charging up. Reese far away, dodging it nicely. Now Reese trying to stay space with the spear. Looks like that Saint Bean misses. Bardock counters with axe handle. Grab the look to Reese. Who ends up going for a spear dive? Bardock grabs her and punishes her with the axe handle slam. Now Bardock leaping away from the spear. Gets a nice uppercut in Reese's grill. Power charges. Now Reese going for a special here. Looks like going for a power up spell. I don't know if that will enhance her spear's damage output. Looks like, oh man, Reese eats an energy wave. Bardock power charging. Oh, Reese going for a spear dive. Missed that. Bardock tried to punish. Missed that punish too. Missed the spear dive again. Bardock leaping away, spacing with the beam. Carly summoned out. Now a gnome summon. Oh, uh, uh, not a gnome summon, a machine golem. Reese juggling. Bardock with the spear strikes, goes for a special lands it, now goes for that diving spear strike. I don't know how much damage this one's going to do to Bardock. It's going to be painful, probably. Man, it does a crap ton of damage. Bardock going for an uppercut, nearly has Reese's number here. Tinkle Rain brings her back up to her feet. Bardock trying to get that last hit in, gets an energy wave while Reese manages to spot dodge it. Tries to go for a sweep, but Bardock's jab opens her up hard. And Bardock manages to clinch the round three. Damn, I thought that spear strike special was going to thief it away from him, but no. Oh man, the low class Saiyan manages to secure this win 2-1. And I might have to erase the low class Saiyan because he's proven he's anything but right now. He is very dominant in his singles efforts, man. Only lost to Battle Maharo. He's beaten everybody else. And I wonder if one day he's going to avenge that. I don't that loss and he might the, the way he's going and Super Saiyan status has to be right around the corner. How much more fights does he need to get there? Probably one or two more maybe. Probably not even that. Who knows? <laughs> he might evolve off camera for all I know. And Reese, well, she put on a much better effort than I anticipated from her, so that's always good to see. Now I just hope she can raise her game for the next set and maybe clinch a win. She needs one, too. But excellent outing for both fighters here. Definitely surpassed my singles expectations. Alrighty, folks, stay tuned for double set number one. Gonna get that going right away. Can't wait to see who's up to bat here. Be right back, and I'll present it to you shortly. Okie dokie do! A round or two of doubles we shall do! <laughs> Anyways, Team Fate Tales, Urza and Saber have had their share of struggles in the past, but they are staying strong and focused. Hopefully it will finally pay off against Team Zelda's Dark Lake and Ganondorf. Will the Dark Helion and Gerudo King break the girls and their sharp steel to bits? Random stage, let us know right away. Hope you all enjoy! If the Triforce of Power has its way, Urza and Saber will be drained dead on the ground. Fate Tales vs. Zelda on the Makoto stage. Let's get ready to kick butt, engage, here we go. Alright, Urza races in, East Dark Link's blade, Ganondorf trying to leap it on Saber. Saber carving into him, following Urza's aerial sword strike. Dark Link trying to stay space, gets knocked back by that wind wave. Now Ganondorf caught by that swordsman from Urza. Dark Link with the light arrow, piercing Urza and Saber's armor for some nice damage. Now see flame choke from Ganon, launching Urza up in the air. Then catches Saber with a flame choke, damn dude. Now Urza fights back with the lightning strike, Ganon with another flame choke to Urza. She's nearly down here. Now see Urza whipping that lightning bolt. Now see Saber knocked down by Dark Link's blade, Saber carving into Dark Link now. Urza, oh wait, Ganon off with the super flame chunk. That's probably going to take Saber out of the fight. And Dark Lake trying to isolate Urza. Goes for a sword spin. Arrow to the back of Urza. And the flame choke off Saber. Sheesh! Dark Lake and Ganondorf turned the tide quickly in round one. Round two, let's see if Fate Tails can fight their way back into this. Alright, see, Urza trying to leap from the air. Dark Lake, oh man, electrical wave paralyzing poor Saber. Urza trying to advance it. Dark Lake with the sword sweep, following the arrow. It looks like Saber trying to tech the attacks here. Urza launched high into the air as he whiffs that lightning bolt again. Let's see, Dark Lake hammering her back into the corner. Ganondorf trying to block, gets a low kick in. Now goes for a super flame choke, catches Urza. That's going to sap a lot of her health. 
and now Dark Lake trying to back Saber into the corner. That Saber fighting out of it with their armored gauntlets. In the meantime, Dark Lake slammed to the ground. Saber going for a special here. Ends up trying to bum rush Ganon, but Whirlwind Blade cuts Saber off right in the Ganon or Super Flame Choke as Urza gets off by Dark Lake's Blade. My goodness! And Saber's still getting her strength sapped, and she's kind of stuck in midair as Ganon just kind of leaves her there. Probably left her on the hanging board of a building there. I don't know what happened. But Saber's kind of suspended in midair, and Ganondorf kind of laughing at it as Dark Lake and him sees another impressive 2 0 doubles win over the struggling Fate Tales, which I really do feel sorry for because they seem to be trying really hard to get a win here, and alas, man, Lady Luck is just not on their side. I'm hoping one day they'll have their W, and, and hopefully it'll come at the expense of some other team on Season 3. Or Season 4, if they end up hanging around another season, we'll have to wait and see on that verdict. Dark Lake and Ganondorf, though, very impressive. They're still standing strong, and, you know, they're taking teams to the limit if they're not winning, so there is that. And a, fate, a win over Fate Tales is always a nice win to have for their record. So we'll see if they can continue their climb up the A-tier doubles ladder, where they can hopefully secure some majors and establish themselves as an even bigger and better threat going into Season 4. Alrighty, folks. Be right back in a setup. Double set number two. Not going to waste any time. We got to get the show on the road, get through the rest of 131, because we might have more badass brawls yet to come. Be right back. boo That is the sound of 2v2 number two landing in your lap hard. Next on the agenda, we have Team Blast Blues, Ragna and Jin, going head-to-head -head against the Truesdale brothers in Belmont and Edward. This one certainly presents the potential of being a roof-raising ruckus if both sides bring the heat like I know they can. The brawlers have better speed, but the swordsmen have better range, so it will all come down to whose chemistry is stronger as we rush to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! Get ready, folks! This could be F-131's breakout match! I'm hoping so! Blaz Blue and the Truesdale's about to go to war on the Token Dexal Angel Eyes Highway Star Stage. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Ragnar opens up with a rolling slide kick right to his sword barrage. Jin trying to aid him from behind now, and Belmont intercepted out of the air as Edward cuts off Ragnar. Now Jin trying to block Edward as Ragnar ends up roaring. Belmont right to the chest with his blade. Now missed that jumping blade. Now Edward with a dive kick catching both Blaz Blue veterans. Looks like, looks like Belmont whiffed his grab. Looks like Jin launched into the air, tried for his diving sword strike. Now the big purple flames hitting Ragnar in the back. Now Jin with a crystal lock to Edward in the air, knocks him down. Edward trying to roll into eight Belmont and double team and Ragna. Big flame uppercut launching Ragna. And Edward gets a roundhouse kick string off on Jin at the other side. Now Edward, it looks like Belmont going for the flame throws on Ragna, who counters with a demon claw strike. Edward trying to roll and gets a kick off on Ragna. Now see, oh, Belmont gets that flaming grab off. It looks like, oh, Bel Belmont gets intercepted by Jin's crystal grab. Now Edward with a jumping knee, but it looks like Ragna gets an aura burst off on Edward. Now Belmont ends up getting a big flame grab slam off on Ragna and Jin right to that big purple flame strike. There goes Ragna. Jin the only one standing. It looks like Belmont gets knocked out by Jin's sword and the ice crystal falling to Sword slice from Jin grounds Edward. Man. Holy crap, Ola! Had a hard time keeping up, but Jin the sole survivor in round one. Round two, let's see if the Truesdales can tear their way back into this. Belmont with the jumping kick to Ragna. Oh, oh, now Belmont gets a nice flame grab off on both Ragna and Jin. Looks like Edward gets a dive kick following that. Damn, nice chemistry from the Truesdales. Big energy run house kick from Edward who tries to charge in on Ragna. Now Belmont paired off with Jin. Looks like Ragna breaking it up with a big sword uppercut. Now a demon claw strike hitting both Truesdales for some nice damage. Now Jin power charging the meter for Ragna. Now Belmont breaking up with a big flame spam. As the Elf Ragnar with the big sword uppercut. Looks like catching both Truesdales following that flip kick, launching him across the stage. Now see Edward trying to get a jab through on Jin who loops over it. Now see Belmont gets knocked out of his flame grab. Now Ragnar gets in with a jumping sword strike and ends up following Edward. That Belmont launching Jin with that flame uppercut. Damn, dude. Now Jin trying to go for a crystal throw. Missed that. Ragnar launching Belmont. And up, up Ragnar gets a big aerial strike hitting, hitting both Truesdales. Looks like Edward barely hanging on. Looks like Ragnar knocked, knocked out of his sword spin. Now Belmont, get, Belmont barely touches Jin's sword strike. Gets a flame grab off. And now Edward with that big green flipping kick. Ends up drilling Ragna, there he goes, and Jin gets off by the flame shot. And the Truesdales narrowly hang on with the round two win. Good God, very close round one, round two, round three. Let's see if we can get the same. All right, see so if Jin gets a crystal lock on Belmont. Belmont breaks out. Ragna with that flipping sword shot to Belmont. Edward gets grazed. Now Jin trying to ride in. Big demon claw strike catching both Truesdales for decent damage. Now Jin trying to catch Edward with the crystal lock as he rolls in. 
flame throw ends up launching Ragna. Double not getting in Ragna's grill. Ends up intercepting both grabs him. Oh, big flame shot launching Ragna. Now Edward whiffing his jump kick there. And Jin gets flung into the air. Big flame shot launching Ragna and Jin. And I'll see how Ragna battling back with the big dark range. He's sort of cut. Launching both Truesdales. Crystal Lock catching Belmont briefly. Now catches both Truesdales there. Ragna with the dark red energy burst hitting along the ground. Nearly takes both Truesdales out. Jin with the jumping sword strike. Falling Ragna's sword up. Cut. There they go. And Blaz Blue have busted their way through round three and the Truesdale's defenses for another impressive 2 1 outing. Hooray! Man, that was a hellacious back and forth three round set. All three rounds very close. Ragnar and Jin just barely had like half of their energy in round three, or a little under half. I couldn't quite see, but all three rounds very close. Unfortunately, the Truesdale's lost control of that round three. They had momentum going their way for a while, with Belmont building up the flame choke grabs and throws along the stage right to Edwards comboing. It was working for a while, but once Ragnar and Jin broke out, they got in trouble quick. But man, that was a fantastic fight from start to finish. And all four combatants should be proud of this performance. And this is the type of fights that are going to keep them throughout Season 4. And I'm hoping both sides get some majors later. They deserve them after this. Alrighty, the bar has been set, folks, for our main event coming up, be it 3v3 or 4v4. We'll see what it is momentarily. I gotta get a drink and let my throat relax some. Be right back as I get it all set up. Ladies and gents, the F131 3v3 main event is upon us. Team SD3's Hawkeye, Duran, and Kevin must fight through a barrage of teching fiends in Team Chaos Breakers Ramda, Sandra, and Cursehead. The 16-bit warriors could rip through it if spaced far enough away with their level 3 Texan spell spam. They definitely have the melee ability to give them trouble too. The later will have to rely on well-timed counter-strikes and grabs if they hope to take this W as we scurry on down to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! Ramda, Sandra, Cursehead, timing is going to be far more crucial for you guys to do damage. The F131 3v3 main event is here, folks! Team SD3 versus Team Chaos Breakers in the WWF Raw's War Ring. Let's get ready to kick butt. Engage. Here we go. All right, Hawkeye opens up the fire jets to catch the whole Chaos Breaker team. Kevin flips backward from the attacking Duran's attack now. Sandra and Cursehead trying to isolate Hawkeye on the other side. Now Windblade's coming off from Duran. Sandra trying to get in on Kevin. Kevin trying to break it up. Hawkeye launched across the ring, as is Ramda. Cursehead trying to get in. Big Thunder Jets is spam from Hawkeye across the stage, following the Earth Jutsu into Duran's Windblades. Looks like Kevin landed his Suzaku Skydance in the meantime. Now Hawkeye going for Shuriken, some more Thunder Jutsu into the Fire Jutsu. Sandra gets grazed by it. Now Earth just who coming up from Hawkeye, Duran going for the flashing sword, Kevin in werewolf form as he heals himself up, looks like he took some damage from Cursehead, more Thunder Jutsu who spent from Hawkeye, opens up Chuck Turner's chest, looks like Ronda's down, Sandra the only one left, looks like Cursehead dropped early, and Hawkeye with that aerial melee dagger shot takes Sandra out. And all of SD3 stands strong in round one, folks. Round two, Chaos Breakers, come on, cause some chaos here. Kevin opening up with a, with a save deathless. Oh, Suzaku Skydance. Hawkeye knocked out of whatever he's trying to do. Goes for a Thunder Jutsu counter. Let's see, oh, Kevin going for another Suzaku Skydance. Following the Fire Jutsu to Cursehead, who rolls away there. Duran going for a jumping sword shot. Now Cursehead trying to tech through all the attacks. Kevin knocks him away. Looks like Sandra's down. Oh, big Vacuum Sword from Duran. Vacuum Sword spam, spam following the Shurikens from Hawkeye and the Windblades from Duran. Cursehead trying to tech through all of it, but too much. Another Suzaku Skydance knocks them out. Yeah, SD3 just threw way too much for Chaos Breakers to even tech through. Because if they tech through one attack, they were going to get hit by another one, so... SD3 just ruined the teching game for them, and take it to zero. No questions asked. Yeah, Chaos Breakers, I think they're going to be struggling in 3v3. It's not looking good for them right now. I don't think they've even had a round win against any team yet, which is not good. And with that awesome teching of theirs, that's kind of inexcusable. But considering SD3 could just spam the hell out of you, teching one attack, you'll end up getting hit by the other ones that you try to tech after the first hit. Because the other attacks will just come in and rip right through you, so... I think Ronda, Sandra, and Cursed are going to have to get more aggressive and rely less on teching, because... It's just going to get them in trouble and allow SD3 to spam more stuff, but a little too little too late for this matchup, but maybe they could try to come on with a different strategy for their next 3v3, whenever that is. And I hope they get a win soon, otherwise they might be gone. SD3 ain't got nothing to worry about, just keep doing what they're doing and continue to grab those wins. I mean, I think they've only lost to the Toho so far. There might have been another team they lost to, I have to check their records again. From what I recall, though, I think they've only had one defeat, and they've been winning every other match they've been thrown in, so... We'll see if their luck continues. Yeah, sorry we didn't have too many round threes, but hey, we got two of them, so it's something. 
131 I consider a pretty solid success. Alrighty, folks, stay tuned for F-132 coming next weekend, where hopefully we'll get some bigger and better battles which will impress more. Until then, I'll see you all later. Peace, frigate out all!